Why, why aren't they in the I used to fall asleep all the fucking time. Them, uh, they used to, you, were, you, were, you were a trash employee there. <laughs> bro, them records was so fucking boring <laughs> to look at, bro. <laughs> you were trash. I used to be <laughs> hot as shit. <laughs> did, they, did they fire you? Uh, hell yeah, they fired me. Yesterday. They said, they said, oh, you got. They hold me though. They didn't just fire me straight up. They said they made me come in like 9 a.m. on a Saturday. They said, oh, you gotta go to a meeting. I said, oh, damn, I'm gonna get a raise type shit. <laughs> then we go to the the big the big store. I said, uh, oh shit. I walked in there. It was a meeting for like 10 people, and said we're gonna have to let y'all go. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, oh. <laughs> oh my bitch ass. And people in that bush was hot. Wait, what did you you said you fell asleep? All the time. Oh, I just knocked out in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I used to tap on my desk and hey, hey, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got one character on fucking uh what's we call it? Fucking uh, really cool. I'm dead, bro. You said that you're Yes, bro. Why are you so sleepy, bro? Why are you a sleepy individual? That dog, I think that job fucked me up, bro. That <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it Wait, what job was that? What job was that? I'm saying, I'm saying that was back in the day. Back in the day, Billy used to be able to stay until 5 a.m., bro. He, he's bro, good, like, like, like me. <laughs> bro, I was <laughs> up late as shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. EMS, they did something to you. They did something to you. They fucking hold me, bro. Are you saying you, that's why you sleep all the time now? You, you go to sleep is, progressively bro. earlier every year. Sooner or later, you're going to be going to bed at 6 p.m. You know, I fucking number. hated that job, bro. And then the fucking ladies, bro. I One time, I wasn't really asleep, but I was, like, dozing off. And this lady saw me do, dozing off. She's, like, in her mid-40s. And then she saw me doze off. She got up, and she went to the manager. I, and, she, and the manager cool. uh, came by, and she said, hey, go home. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, I ain't gonna say her name, but, but I don't want to fuck with her, bro. She, <laughs> she had a lot of it. She fucking hold uh, the shit out of me. If I see her now, bro. What? What you gonna do? Nah, I put y'all clean, y'all put y'all, put y'all clean skins on. Say that, bro. Put y'all clean skins on. You are a trash employee, bro. I was a trash employee, but why you snitch on me, bro? That hoe did not affect me. Who's <laughs> trying to move up in that company, bro? You were a hey, bro, low key. You were trans. Yo. You were a trans student oh, too. That's, 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 what? That's, that's no, was, no. Was, I was not was, no fucking trans student. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about college. I'm talking about college. Oh uh, no, I, that was one time. Bro, I, I, I bought Dragon Ball Xenoverse, right? Yeah. And I told Dylan, I messaged this nigga and I bought it. I said, hey, yeah. this this whole kind of live, bro. This nigga got out of class and walked in. He walked out and bought that bitch of his own. <laughs> I said, you home early. He said, you home early. He said, hey. He was with me. I ain't asked no more questions. Because about him, man, Ray was gassing the whole those getting ahead of me. Bro, that's some bullshit, bro. He left hey, class to play a game. That, 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 he, he down, bro. He was down. Yeah, pass off. I said, Dylan versus Karen. <laughs> bro, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas funny. Bro. Hey, Dylan funny, bro. He said, hey, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, I really think that you always have been a sleepy nigga. I know, bro. Before, bro, when I was at Lewis House, bro, up, bro, I stayed up. Uh, I stayed yeah, he up. Stay up bro. He used to stay up, bro. Bro, remember, he, well, even back in the Glendora, bro, he didn't start doing that until Glendora, bro. Because he stayed up when I was watching Devil May Cry. It was like 6 in the morning. He was all right. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, that's when it started, no cap. You said that's when it, it started? started in Glendora. You know what I'm saying, Dylan? You getting... <laughs> Me, me, Dylan, Dylan, the thing that me and you have in common is we the sleepy boys. Me and you, Dylan, we the sleepy boys. You increase your workload, bro. Yeah, we we increase our workload. You fall asleep, you're not taking no calls. You said no more. It was it was no calls, bro. Records you had to review, bro. That shit was not affecting my motherfucking ass. Matter of fact, bro, people were complaining because we had not enough records, so they were sending people home early. I was helping y'all out. I was increasing y'all hours, bro. Fucking putting money in y'all pocket. Ooh, yeah. Y'all hired me. Hey, bro. Hey, yeah, 30, delivery might have been the funniest job that I've ever heard, though. Oh, no, that's just a scam, <laughs> bro. I'm watching y'all fucking hold me. Y'all know y'all hold me. It was, just, it was uh, Baylor. I don't know if y'all know about Baylor, but there was like this uh, startup company in Baylor. Like, before, like, Uber Eats and Favor was like big. Like, <laughs> yeah. Postmates was like big. It was like a delivery service. Like, you can uh, order groceries, order whatever you wanted and then like uh like i i I was in 
it was like my f first semester of my second year in college. I said, I'm just gonna do that. That seems hella easy. And it was easy, but it was hella long. And then uh, the, I got my first paycheck. <laughs> I paid for the first time. <laughs> I handed up the money from the orders. <laughs> and he gave me $20 for like, <laughs> like four for days how, for, of work. He scammed up. He scammed. I said, what's this? He said, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's your pay for did he give you gas money? I said what? Did he give you oh, gas money? Fuck! I, I was a uh, that was anime. Huh? That was anime two far part two. Did he give you gas? I, I, like, oh, I'm muted. Oh, I'm night. muted. How did I get uh, muted? Driving. Uh, driving, and then oh, I went straight. I went home <laughs> for a little bit, and then y'all said, "Oh, we're like thirty minutes from wake up." I said, "Oh, fuck!" And I went to Jay's house, and we filmed anime two far that whole day, and I was. Fucking tired oh. shit, that whole fucking oh, day. Oh, this nigga been muted. I was muted, bro. I was, bro, it, it, oh. this, it keeps muting itself, though. That's like the fifth time it's done that. No, I, when he press M. Oh, it's M. Oh, uh, that sounds like. I said, I haven't heard Ben say anything in I'm a minute. That, I'm turning that shit off. I'm turning that, I'm turning that shit off. Yeah, I thought you were doing something. Hey, chat, oh, what y'all want, man? Hey, Dylan, Dylan, did, did, did they give oh, you bro. gas money? My, my bad, real question. Huh? Did they give you gas money? No, bitch, it's 20 they scammed the fuck out of you, bro. I didn't, I didn't get no pay no more, bro. <laughs> they scammed the fuck out of you. I, 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 I didn't even, I didn't even should, quit. I just stopped. You should have went back up. You had to fight that nigga I for that they, shit. I kept, I kept their delivery bag and they shirt because I was so hot. I still got that bitch. Hey, they, hey. He don't wake up. He a whole ass nigga, bro. Yeah. That's all I got. He a whole. That, that is hilarious, bro. Temper, temperature resistant. They said, Leland, can you continue the teacher story? Oh, okay, okay. They, they, they were talking about uh, our worst experiences with teachers. Now I got you here for verification. All right, my whole my, my worst experience with a teacher was my whole motherfucking third grade year, because I got put in a class with a teacher that had it out for me, Jay can vouch for me. <laughs> this lady, I ain't never got in trouble at school for nothing, ever. I get in third grade, and this lady used to fucking follow me to my mama's car on the way home to school and tell her that I was being bad, and she fucking hold me out of my PlayStation 2 that I never got. She and because that. of her, I got whooped three to four days out of this out of each week, <laughs> just to find out that the lady was crazy. Because one of the, one of my classmates' mom came to her and she was holding that student too. And then they made her retire the next year. <laughs> she was so, going crazy. Yeah, she was like senile. She was like, what? She was holding, holding shit. She hold you. And She's I so never dead. got my PS4. I mean, my PS2. <laughs> I said, Mama, I didn't do nothing. She wouldn't hear me. And then I used to get my games and shit taken from me while Jay was playing them hoes. I got to just sit there and watch. <laughs> I've been tight. Uh, he was out. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> he used to yes. fake cry. He used to get whooped and fake cry. She held me. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I ain't coming she held me so many times. I used to try to sneak to the car. I don't know how the hell. I think she was a Hugo, bro. I was, blending, I was blending in through the crowd. She would still catch me. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know, man. Jeez, How you know she was following you? I, I just felt it, bro. I just knew it. <laughs> bro, yeah. you could have done nothing. She found her way to that car every day. <laughs> every day. Mama, every, day get the back seat. Uh, every day she, she was just saying, I was disrupting class and shit, bro. I said, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> Somebody would do something, I would laugh, and she would come to me. It's the whole class is laughing. I said, what? Come on. Sometimes I swear to God, I ain't do shit. I didn't do nothing. He was looking for reasons to get me in trouble. It's cause you black. Hey, but they, we not they not ready for that conversation. Dark skin, <laughs> dark skin. <laughs> black hills, black people were uh, we were rare. It was like probably seventeen of us throughout the whole school. Somebody in the chat oh, said, really? "Why?" Somebody in the chat said, "I would have took her ankles." What, what is crossing her gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> crossing her on the court, she could be hot as hell next time. Then she's sure gonna be coming to the car every day. That would eternalize her hate. For real though, tell a job story, <laughs> like a story at one of the jobs. Oh, I worked yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were talking. Yeah, we were talking about. Um, I was telling, like, me and Dylan were talking about how trash we were as employees. Uh huh. That's and I was talking about at Pop Rolos when, uh, like, when the crowd came too big. Like yeah. if it was like uh, like eight or more people, I would like run to the back so I wouldn't be caught oh, to take yeah. their orders. Yeah. But, like and, and Dylan was talking about how he used to work at EMSI. And he used to fall asleep and, and his boss would wake him up and tell him to go home. Yeah. And this, <laughs> this lady, this lady snitched on him because he she because he fell asleep, bro. Uh, oh, I, told, I, told, I told Jay right when it happened. You you worked at EMSI too? <laughs> yeah, I worked at a different. He worked at a different one. <laughs> <laughs> I worked at the one in Hewitt. You must you worked at the yeah. one in uh. Where? 
Hewitt. It was in Hewitt too. I think it was in Hewitt too. It was oh, two. It was like down. It was down the street. Uh, oh. From that hall. Oh, I think I got the new building. Or was I at the old one? You was at the new building. You was at the new building. Dude, your building was clean. That's uh, they sent me to your building to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's all, it's all clean. This day we're gonna have to let you go. Damn. Man, motherfucking. Hey, I'm a top like, I'm a top worst employee in the world, bro. Nah, Jay, Yeah, yeah, nah, Jay is smarter than me. You were the funniest yeah, employee funny. I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, God Jay's said, sorry, Jay, but you were sorry. Yeah. I, I was sorry. God said. God said. The only reason why God made me a YouTuber is because He knew I. He knew I was gonna work for a job. I be trying to tell people. I hold every job I ever worked at. I'm talking about once I got paid, I walked out, clear out every job. I'll tell y'all. No, I worked at Walmart for three days. Three hey, days this, I worked at Walmart. This, 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 this your highlight. This your highlight. This is a, this is a, an astonishing performance. They didn't even complete the orientation that was done. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I completed orientation at Walmart, and then on the first day, I was working, man. It was hot as a bitch pushing baskets. I was out there, I was pushing baskets, and I came back in, and I was like, oh, break right now? And they said, um, they said, no, break in an hour. And in my head, I said, oh, I'm finna quit. So that's what I said in my head. <laughs> so then, an hour went by, and I was pushing baskets. It was like 98 out there, boy. And I was putting the baskets. I said, damn, it's hot. And I said, bro, I can't do this no more, bro. So when I pushed the last basket and I went to go to lunch, I got my car and I went home and I never, <laughs> I never came back. <laughs> I just got my car and left right at lunchtime. It was, I it wasn't even halfway through the day, man. I feel <laughs> bad, but I, I don't care. Say, hey, I, got, I gotta get, I gotta get something out of my car. He was gone. Yeah, I told him I gotta get something out of my car. I went right to my, cause you're not supposed to leave on lunch. I said I gotta get something out of my car. I got that bitch started, mug up. <laughs> pull out the, I pulled out the. Hey, was, hey, man. <laughs> Them niggas, I ain't never go back to that Walmart. I never went back to that Walmart, bro. Not even to shop at that bitch. I never went back to there. And what then was it? It that was, was the one in Denver. Right. It was the uh, it was it was the hood Walmart. I fucking told them niggas not to make me work there. I said no. <laughs> Let me work at the good Walmart on the right side. Them niggas, I, I'm gonna work first. I said, man, why am I at this hood shit? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you uh to, to get your check? You, you said Calvin in there, right? Yeah, I said, Calvin, I said, my nigga, if we draw back, I said, I gotta get my check, though. I did work four days, three days and a half. I need to get my check. Calvin walked up in there, and they said, this, he said, hey, yeah, y'all got the check from Mark. And they, they gave him the check, bro. I know they was hot, bro. I did not go back in there, bro. Never went back to the Walmart, bro. Calvin went there, got the hell. He walked out. He was rolling. He, they, he said that nigga was hot. He said they was hot. He just said they was hot. I'm trash, though. I quit so many uh, jobs. Hey, there was a job called Deco. And they said work 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I went up there, and I didn't get picked the first day because it was like a work on something. So I didn't get picked the first day. Second day, I didn't get picked. Third day, I got picked. And then I just, I don't know why. I woke up at 6 a.m. and everything. I got there, got picked, and I just walked out. I said, I don't feel like doing this shit today. <laughs> I, I went back to the car. I just went home, bro. I went back to sleep, bro. I didn't even I didn't even start that job, nigga. I'm horrible, bro. Only job I stayed at. I just slept. Only job I stayed at was the movie theater. I worked at AMC, and that was it was pretty fun. But until, all right, y'all, Big Hero Six came out. I remember the line was long, and these kids they was on the way out. Badass kids almost whooped their ass in front of their parents, but they badass kids. One of them was walking out with an icy, and I promise y'all, he just he grabbed his icy, he just stuck that on the wall. The nigga said, "Mop." I said, "You got me fucked up." I said, "I don't know why you did that, cause I promise, I promise to God, I ain't cleaning that up." <laughs> so this why this is exactly what I did. And that white girl, there was this white girl, she was younger than me, bro. And and she, she I don't I, I don't know why. She was like a year younger than me, but she was my manager. So every time she tell me to do something, I'm looking at her like she, she was a prodigy. I, no, she was 17. I was like 21. That's what it was. I was in college. I said, every time she told me to work, like do something, I'd be like, nigga, you 17. What the fuck? Nigga, you can't tell me what to do. What are you talking about? So I just didn't take that job seriously. And then there was this other white girl up there. And like, y'all, I worked in like a white neighborhood. It was next to my college at UNT. It was like 30 minutes away. That was the only AMC job I could get. So when I walked in there, they, they treated me like a, a fucking African king. Because no other black people worked there. No other black people worked there. It's like, I feel like all the little, like, all the little white girls had a crush on me or something. They did everything for me. I didn't have to work at all. Like, this what, nigga, what he, you walked, mean? he walked out the theater, bro. And nigga said, Bleh! he threw up. 
I said, yeah. <laughs> who supposed to clean that up? I'm not cleaning that nigga up. And I just was looking at it. It was my jurisdiction. I was supposed to clean it up. I was looking at it. And the white girl, she said, you want me to get it? I said, yeah. And she went up there and cleaned the hell up. And I was like, thank you. And she was like, oh, no problem. She used to help me with everything, nigga. I ain't clean nothing up. I'm telling y'all, man. God bless. That nigga real, is funny, hey, bro. Hey, bro, that shit was, I don't know what happened. I had plot armor for real, for real. I had plot armor for real. That nigga said African king. They really was treating me like an African king. <laughs> bro, and that nigga, that nigga told me he quit Walmart in three days, but I, I think that's probably one of the hardest lives I've had, man. I did AMC got... wrong too because they said at the after a month I worked there, the motherfucking general manager he was like, "Hey Mark, if you keep working like this, maybe you can become a general manager here too." And and and, and, I, and he was like, he said, "Yeah, because I've been working here for fifteen years." I said, "Fifteen years." <laughs> I quit. I quit because that nigga had me fucked up. I don't know why he thought I was going through college to wait, wait, to, no, did, to work didn't, they tell you, bro, did, didn't they sell you? They made you go to to, to like a, a mandatory meeting, and you had to stay. No, that was the last straw. Like I already made up my mind to quit at that after he told me fifteen years. But when I walked into, they said mandatory meetings at six a.m. and then they put my shit. Hold on, they put my work shift at nine after the meeting. I said, uh huh. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> nine to, bro, it was like nine to six. And I said, from, but you want me to go up there at six first? I said, okay, okay. What you think I did? What you think I did? At 6 a.m. after that mandatory meeting, they said, you might as well stay here since you got to work in like an hour. I said, okay, let me just go to my car and get something. Out that bitch. I ain't seen them again. I ain't seen them one more time. No kidding. That's a scheme, bro. They can't be doing that shit. Who can't? Them corporations no, can't be doing that shit. Bro, I'm fucking dead. Oh, bro, that nigga is the funniest nigga on the planet, bro. Nigga, any, any any nigga don't believe me, you must not know me, bro. I'll tell you, I quit every job, on, on, and I did, I never quit. I never quit like, hey, man, I quit. I just walked out that bitch. I, wow, we ain't gonna see each other no more. I don't need to tell you nothing. I was rolling, but that shit had been weak, bro. Bro, I need to take my hat off to Af, bro. Af, that nigga a soldier, bro. No, Af. Oh yeah, I don't know how he lasted in that bitch. That nigga Af is a soldier. Let's do this.